I just want to ride the pony. No. <sighs> Welcome back to the channel. Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Trucker's Lounge. Well, had to get up a little early today because I got a little trip to take with uh, Mr. Wizard. And uh, I think you guys are going to be happy. All you guys who've been uh, making little comments about poor Pistol Pete here and how he's not quite complete. Stick around town. <laughs> That might be a hint. Mm-hmm. More hints. And then I'll grab that other stack there. Sign that. Anywhere. Anywhere you want, dude. All right. In Painesville, Ohio, at the Grand Rock Warehouse, we got some talking to do. Uh, it's been since October, which is probably uh, six, about eight months, seven, eight months, since uh, Pistol Pete was added to the stable, and he is a 1971 Peterbilt 359. Has a uh, 400 Big Cam 2 Cummins, 13 speed, and a 263 wheelbase. And I don't know what the gears are. Um, but anyways, so I've been... Uh, spiffing it up and doing the lettering and some uh, pinstriping which isn't done yet and doing some cleaning up and all the trimming and all that but uh <clears throat> several of you guys gave me a hard time over the past few months about the exhaust when you're gonna put an exhaust on that thing and i've kind of been uh just sloughing it off a little bit not really addressing it and there's a reason for that and the reason is because uh something was in the works and it's time to announce that Dane Scott's Trucker's Lounge YouTube channel is now sponsored by Grand Rock Exhaust Solutions. Yeah. 
and Grand Rock has really stepped up to the plate here. We've been uh, working on part numbers and trying to get things to make sure we're right. And we've got an exhaust system. So we, we're complete with brackets, which I have already mounted uh, in anticipation of, we're gonna do an install video and the guys from Grand Rock are gonna come down to the lounge and we're gonna do an install. So that'll be an episode to show you, or at least in an episode. And then we're gonna take a tour of their factory because they provide exhaust uh, components all over the industry. I mean, it doesn't matter who you order parts from, you know, the big catalog houses. And uh, when you order parts, a lot of them are Grand Rock. Uh, and you can, you can select what brands you wanna pick. And uh, they've been around uh, a long time. So what we're gonna do I wanted to get off the uh, the old brackets and what happened was the old brackets were only two bolters and uh, a little bit smaller not as not as meaty as these bad boys and these are uh, two bolts on each side so down here at the bottom of the cab is it's kind of a skirt back here so these are bolts with nuts all right and um, I just had to drill two extra holes. Well, up here, these ones are nut certs. And so I had to install two more nut certs. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, this nut cert tool, but man, I've done a lot of work with this bad boy. You buy that and you can buy, you know, kits of uh, stainless nut certs. So we, we use the biggest ones. This is a 3 8 but it takes a half inch hole. So you drill the half inch hole, you screw this onto the end of your nut cert and you, and you close it and bada bing bada boom, there you go. I've used it for uh, uh, visors on the 379, on the first 359. Um, I can't remember where else I've used it. I've used it on several trucks, but at any rate, it's very handy. When you need it, you need it because you got to put in nut search. So um, I didn't want to have to waste time when the guys come down from uh, Grand Rock and uh, take the old brackets off and go through all that. I want to have the truck ready uh, for the actual install. So going ahead and uh, doing those, I'm going to go over to the driver's side, take care of those, and then I will uh, remove the original Y pipe so that that's ready. Um, Grand Rock supplied everything, and this is kind of like, I, I would imagine, kits that you can get. You just specify what truck model you have, and, and they can put together a kit for you. So we're complete with our uh, uh, band clamp, sleeve clamps, or whatever you want to call them, and the brackets themselves, which will mount on here. Um, and they, these brackets, I already showed you those. And then, uh, they're still in the boxes, so I can't show you till we put them on. But we went, of course, with the Peterbilt miter stacks. You gotta have miter stacks on an old school Peterbilt. It's just the way it is. And uh, here's the new Y pipe that's gonna go on. So uh, stop busting my chops about the exhaust. <laughs> it's finally gonna happen. And of course, Pistol P here is going to be at the GMC Jamboree show, so you're going to get to see the completed job and uh, get to know this truck this year. Oh man, I cannot wait for my car. Oh hey, you know, you guys can't really call yourself old school drivers unless you're uh, gulping down some of this hammer down coffee company coffee. I mean, have you tasted this stuff? They've got full throttle light roofs, they've got full locker medium blend they've got a red eye espresso which is like a medium dark they've got a reset blend decaf but it's dark and my personal favorite that i'm waiting for patiently deep production dark roast so try hammer down coffee by clicking the link right below and that'll take you right to the site to order your very own hammer down coffee
Okay, so it is working. <clears throat> that tank's pretty uh, pretty beat up, but uh, we'll get it shining as good as we can. I gotta sand this end a little better, and I'm sure it'll come up good. This is where the straps were and are going to be, so I think it'll clean up pretty good. It's coming out better. Um, this would be the back, so it didn't take quite as much abuse as the front, but uh, we'll get it. It's coming slow but sure, but I also found that uh, I need to be using this rake a little more often to get the uh, compound, dirty compound, cleaned off the wheel. That really helps, too, keeping that wheel clean. Otherwise, you're just grinding that stuff right back in. This is so much fun. Okay, so I got to behave today because my supervisor is here. The boss. <laughs> so we'll give you the top-down view of Grasshopper. Tanks on, finally. The new straps. Had those made. Also by the same guy that made my bumper. Uh, got the wheels painted in the back. The frame's almost painted. These, of course, aren't going to stay, but I want them to look presentable for the jamboree. As far as the uh, interior goes, we're almost all wired. Got all the goodies installed. Just got to hook up lights and the gauges to the switches. We got power up here already. First time grasshoppers even had power in the cab in 45 years. And uh, there's the cream front as well on that one. Yep. I'm pretty happy with the tank, even though it's got its dents. That's all right. Gonna look 200% better than what it was. I'm gonna get the mud flaps on there. I got my Kmart. Yeah. Kmart? <laughs> <laughs> I got my KW mud flaps to put on there with the crooked K and W, the old school logo. Got those right from Kenworth, believe it or not. And then uh, working on the console as well. Had to put the, uh, or remove the uh, dome light from the uh, ceiling. Install it in here, in the overhead console. And then, of course, this is not metal, so I'm going to have to put a ground post inside here to ground everything so it's Saturday morning uh, trying to do some detail work on Pistol Pete one thing that's been bothering me all along is these horrible mud flaps that were on here and these these were pretty nasty uh, pretty rusty you can see on the back it was worse but I did get the fronts pretty well cleaned up okay so uh, what we'll do here is uh, use the the top metal piece that goes under here and we're also going to repaint this and redo the uh, reflective lettering there or reflective striping so this will go on here like this all I got to do is uh, get it on there right and then use my white stabilo I don't know if I can hold the camera and do this at the same time. Let's try. Let's try this. Yeah. Mark my holes. And I guess I'll do it on both of them while I'm at it. I made these ones about two inches longer so when the uh, when the airbags are down it'll be about two inches from the ground but when the airbags are up it'll be like five inches or four inches anyways far enough okay so there's me marks now I'll just drill them and put everything together except I'm gonna paint this first <laughs>
Okay, so I also had one of these ends come off. So we'll just uh, bend those tabs out, stick it back in before we paint it. Bada bing, bada boom. You've heard me tell about my least favorite things to do, like polishing and bodywork. This is my favorite thing to do, to paint. Because it's like instant gratification. Know what I mean? Instant gratification. Yeah. That's why we like to paint here at the Trucker's Lounge. There we go. One more. Okay, those are done. Ready for the new flaps. And there's the finished product. I think I like it. Have you guys not heard? The second annual GMC Jamboree is right around the corner. It's going to be Saturday, June 1st, right here in Conneaut, Ohio. And the Days Inn, which is right across the road from where the show is, is giving a 10% discount. So if you uh, reserve your room, make sure you tell them that's why you're here, and they'll give you the 10% discount. And also, Evergreen Lake Park campground which is right down the road only like a block is uh, also doing the same thing they're going to give 10 percent discount on if you're camping you're bringing a camper or i know they rent cabins so um you better make your plans you better get your reservations in because they're filling up and it's going to be bigger than last year last year was awesome you guys made it happen and so uh everybody's like are oh, you going to do it again you're going to do it again i'm like yeah <laughs> and what i've decided to do each year is to add something to make the show even better. So this year, we're going to cut the show just a little short at 3.30 instead of 4 was when the show was originally over. But at 3.30, we're going to get everybody fired up and we're going to take us a little convoy right into town. It's not that far. It won't take that long. Just a mile into town. We're going to go down Main Street and come around Route 20 and down to the lakefront around. Come back out Route 20 and out 7. It'll probably take us 15 minutes. So um, I think that's going to be cool because the town's going to get to see all the old trucks. And I'm trying to promote it locally to get the kids out to see it along the parade route or convoy route, I should say. So listen, I hope you join us because that is going to be so much fun. <laughs> so I'm excited to bring it to you again. It's not just GMC. GMC is the, what do you want to call? We're calling out GMCs and we're giving a prize to whichever GMC that the Boy Scouts pick out. Last year, they picked out their favorite GMC and Truck World gave them a killer um, tool bag full of all kinds of goodies and I'm pretty sure they're gonna do it again this year so and and their fuel is like 40 cents cheaper than the place across the road so it's gonna be a killer day so listen I know I threw a lot of stuff at you guys today that's the way it is around here it's like ADD to the max you know I go from one thing to the other from one truck to the other trying to get ready trying to get ready for the jamboree so what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you guys a little bit of trucking. And I got to thinking the other day, I've covered a lot of very cool trucks over the last two and a half years. And maybe some of you haven't seen them all because there's quite a few episodes now. So I am going to give you a snip of a killer cab over Dodge uh, from Dom Gambino up New York way. And uh, this will be something uh, just for Nick that uh, he'll enjoy immensely. Nick has the old school garage channel school is s-k-u-u-l and he's got a killer channel great guy um go check him out uh as well 
So here you go. Here's a little Mopar cab over hammer down trucking. Okay, gals and guys, guys and gals, and gals and guys. <laughs> um, so, behind me is the famous Blue Jay 73 Astro. And I just wanted to let you guys know, um, before we wrap it up this week, Blue Jay is going to be on a, uh, what do they call them, collector card. And if you guys saw the, the coffee commercial earlier, and you guys know that I'm promoting Hammer Down Coffee, Every time you order a bag of coffee, you're going to get a, a collector card. And starting next month in June, uh, the collector card is going to be Blue Jay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they're even making a special blend for the Trucker's Lounge. It's going to be a vintage blend. And it's going to be plenty strong because I told them, you know what? I like it very strong. So they'll have the vintage blend and the card up soon. But I'll let you know uh, when it's ready just so you make sure you get it in your order. So as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know on the channel, and then you can order. So I think that's going to be a wrap. We're going to forego the uh, truck shows this week because we're getting so close to the Jamboree, um, and this video is getting long enough. So next week, I'll give you some more truck shows. They've already started. Several have already gone by in May. So get your trucks out and get the hammer down. Yeah, thank you.